so hi everyone welcome back to data science in a pocket and this time we are back with another exciting tutorial on model context protocol and as you can see on my right hand side today we are experimenting with excel mcp with chat gpt yes you heard it right i would be telling you all the steps so don't worry about it but before that let's test it out so using this MCP, you can control any Excel sheet in your local system with chat GPT. So I would be giving some commands and your Excel sheet will be getting manipulated in your local system. So let's get started. So first of all, as you have been following this channel, you first need to click on the blue button, the MCP integration that we're doing on chat GPT. If you're not able to follow this channel, we are doing this using an extension called as MCP super assistant that I would be telling you towards the end. So first of all, you need to attach these instructions and then let's try to analyze some of our Excel sheets. What are all the columns present in the Excel sheet? Now you need to give the full path of your Excel sheet. Do remember that to make use of Excel MCP. As you can see, the MCP server has started now. And automatically you will see that my browser will start working. The Excel file has a single sheet. It is now reading the sheet, na the names of the different columns. And here are the column headers. It is able to get that first name, last name, gender, country, age, data, ID, etc. So these are all the correct columns that are present. Let me show you the Excel sheet also. So here is the Excel sheet. If you can see, if I zoom in a bit. First name, last name, gender, country, age, date, ID. Now let's try out something else. There are multiple tools as you can see on my right hand side in Excel MCP. Let's try out Excel screen capture. So for another instruction that you need to give, you need to every time attach these instructions. Take a screenshot of the Excel sheet. Now, again, provide the path. The user wants a visual snapshot of the Excel sheet, sheet one. And it has started now. The screenshot has been taken. How I know it? Automatically, as you can see, now I'm able to attach the screenshot here. This is the screenshot taken. The screenshot shows the full content of the Excel sheet from row 1 to 101. Here you can see that this is the entire screenshot taken by the MCP server. Now let's try out something else and then I will be explaining you how I did this. What is the most common first name in the Excel sheet? Provide the path. As you can see, it is able to get the different names and the most common first name is Jules. So using like this, now you can use Excel MCP with chat GPT, which is quite easy. Now let me show you how I did this. I have already covered chat GPT's integration with MCP servers and Excel MCP both separately. So I'm I won't be deep diving much into explaining them, but I will be providing links to the videos in the comment section below. If you haven't used Excel MCP and if you don't know how to integrate MCP super assistant with chat GPT. So as you can see on my screen, the MCP server that I'm using is Nagoka's Excel MCP server. This is very, very easy to integrate. And as you can see, the features involve read and write also. You can write as well, create new sheets also. Do a number of things. And it supports these formats in Excel. Installation is super, super easy. You need to add this config in your cloud MCP con. This is, you just need to add this and you now should be able to use Excel MCP. Now, this is how you set up Excel MCP. The next one is MCP super assistant that I have been using for a long time now in most of my tutorials as you can see. So this enables MCP servers in your 
chat gpt deep sea grok and what not here you can see, you see that it supports all these chat uis and how to use it? it's quite easy this is just one command that you need to run in your local system where you need to replace this dot json path with your actual mcp config that you can get from cloud if you don't know how to get this config file you can check out my previous videos on mcp it's quite easy and there is an extension that you need to add once you are to run that npx command which is this chrome web store extension so once you add this you should be able to see a logo on top right something like this hence mcp super assistant extension plus is the npx command both are required now once you are able to integrate mcp super assistant chat gpt as well as set up excel mcp i am providing the link how to do it in the comment section below don't worry about it you can follow couple of videos from my channel one is excel mcp because i have already explained it in quite some detail this one this green one you need to follow it so that you can understand how excel mcp can be set up in cloud and the other one is chat gpt mcp integration this one how to use mcp server the chat gpt if you are able to use go through these two videos you should be able to use excel mcp with chat gpt as well with this it's a wrap i hope you try this out and enjoy using Excel Sheets with ChatGPT.